Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Joseph Benson. And if you just your first time here, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification icon so that each time we have a brand new video on the Benson B1 Ultra helicopter, you will be notified. In today's video, we're going to talk about the fuel capacity for the Benson B1 and how you should actually calculate a rectangular uh, fuel tank and how you can possibly create your own tank and how uh, the quantity of fuel inside um, a particular tank and what you should expect so i'm going to give you a quick walk around on the benson b1 ultra helicopter uh, the fuel tank and i'll show you all the calculation involved and you should be able to see how many liter does the benson b1 take of gas okay so without further ado let's dive into the video and i'll show you uh what you need to know and again please make sure you like this video because if you like this video of course you're telling youtube that this video is very very important and youtube will go ahead and show this video to as many people as possible and of course you need to subscribe so you never miss any of our video so let's go ahead and do the drawing for the fuel tank sorry um if my drawing is not that good but at least you should be able to understand what i'm about to do and again, don't worry because I will make everything as detailed as possible. So this is kind of rectangular tank. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how many liter and the measurement involved. So uh, you can see here we have in a 10 centimeter. 10 centimeter and the height is 28 centimeter. And the length of it is gonna be 40 centimeter. 40 centimeter and of course i need to show you how this actually is and how many liter in that tank that the tank will take how many liter precisely that this tank will be able to take and of course i will take you through step by step what you need to know about this so you can see we're having a tank like this and of course we're going to put this is the inlet okay gas inlet and we're having uh what we're having here is the is a fuel gauge or fuel sensor okay fuel gauge sensor we're having a fuel gauge sensor here to record we're having two of the tank for the benson b1 and of course i will show you exactly what you should expect with the benson b1 uh for now uh this is a fuel inlet okay uh, i'm gonna put it fuel fuel inlet okay and this is it and this is now um the fuel gauge sensor fuel gauge sensor okay so that is the fuel gauge sensor and right now you can see that we're having 40 centimeter which is the width and uh, which is the length then the width is 10 centimeter and the height is 28 centimeter so what you should expect with this is quite simple what we need to do to get our measurement is very simple we now said okay 40 centimeter and multiply by 10 centimeter multiply by 28 centimeter and of course we should be able to have we should be able to have about 11,200 cent, um, to 11,200. Okay. Oh, sorry, 11,200. So let's go, let's go and clean this off so it will look very, very neat. Okay. 11,200. Okay. Now you can see that. And of course, 11,200, 11,200, we're going to divide it by 1,000. Because um, once we, once we divide this by one thousand, we're gonna have um, eleven point two liters. This calculation is based on liters, so you can see that the Benson B one has um, the main tank is eleven point two liters of petrol gasoline, okay, and the other reserve tank is the same size, eleven point two uh, liters. And of course, we should look at we should be looking at twenty two. 0.4 liters all together that is the fuel tank the benson b1 actually take in a particular time because i i i i receive a lot of questions about uh the benson b1 actually and people do ask me uh what is the fuel capacity for the benson b1 and of course i decided to do this video to show you exactly um the fuel tank the the fuel tank i'm about to construct for the benson b1 and i decided to do this video to show you an inside of what you should expect for the benson b1 ultra helicopter fuel tank the, the main fuel tank and the reserve is all 11.2 liters and if you combine the two together we're having 22.4 liters of fuel and of course if you want to add if if you're looking to add more fuel tank or you want to get a bigger fuel tank and let me just clear this 
off and i'll show you what you need to do so once we clear a bigger once we need a bigger fault and this is how we need to do it okay sorry for my drawing please do not mind my drawing i'm using a um, pen tab with with the pen and of course it's not easy for me not to canvas and with the pen tab and of course we're gonna um this time around we're gonna make this 15 centimeter here will be 15 centimeter then the height is gonna be 34 centimeter 34 cm and the length will be 50 centimeter half a meter okay 50 centimeter and this is it all right I'm just trying my best to make sure that you understand this drawing properly okay this is from here to here and here and this is actually the height of course you should expect this this is the height and this is our fuel inlet and this is probably our fuel sensor okay this is a fuel sensor on the tank and of course uh, let's take a closer look on the calculation now so we're gonna have 50 centimeter multiplied by by 15 centimeter then multiply by 34 centimeter and that will give us around 25,500 cubic centimeter right of course now 25,500 we divided by 1,000 we're gonna have 25.5 liters so now times two of that we're gonna have 50 uh we're gonna have 51 liters all together and of course the benzene b1 can has take uh can as well take uh 51 liters of fuel but i just want to do it a little bit tiny i don't want uh to take a uh, lot a lot of load of fuel that's why i decided to make it 22.5 liters but you can do your own and get it 50 liters 51 liters 55 liters is all up to you and in the next video we'll talk about the spherical uh, kind of tank and this is kind of a rectangular tank that you have to do side by side um this is going to be times two we're going to create this tank um two of this tank one will be for reserve and of course one will be for the main fuel tank that is supplying the helicopter and from the reserve will enter the main fuel tank and of course um the whole thing will be normal so that guys i decided to do this video to give you a walk around on my benson b1 auto light helicopter and don't forget uh this is the fuel inlet this is the fuel inlet okay and this is our fuel sensor fuel gauge sensor okay um fuel gauge sensor so always have this in the back of your mind this is how the benson b1 actually operate um the mini fuel tank and the the, the, the main fuel tank and the, and the reserve fuel tank for the first video it's quite very simple it's 22 um 22 point um 22.4 liters all together but this one is 51 liters all together so it's all up to you to see uh, the quantity of fuel you actually want your ultra helicopter to carry but this one is quite awesome and good so i decided to show you a quick walk around on the benson b1 ultra helicopter fuel tank on the next video we're going to talk about a, a bigger fuel tank that is bigger than this thank you so much for your time hopefully i'll see you next video and make sure please you like this video because if you like the video of course you're telling youtube that this video is very very important and youtube will go ahead and show the video thank you so much and until then bye bye for now